what's often overlooked in meditation, in my view, is preparation. This was one example of preparation. But here follows another one that's very powerful. In fact, if you get the hang of this preparation alone, if you, in a sense, master this preparation phase, then meditation becomes very easy. It comes naturally. Whereas if we try to jump into kind of controlling our minds or stopping our thoughts or finding, locating the I amness, and if we're doing this without the preparation, it's often way less powerful of a meditation than if we were to only apply this preparation. You'd have better meditation just doing this alone, to start with anyway. And there's many ways to prepare for meditative ease. And one that I found very helpful is to scan yourself for any wants, any desires, and to decide that you don't want anything from anything. That there's no grasping for a particular result. There's no wanting to change any particular sensation. There is no want to get rid of anything. And you don't even want anything from the wants that are perhaps present as you're scanning yourself. So even the desires, even the energies of wanting and grasping, you don't want anything from them. You don't even want these to change. You're just resting in the mantra, in the view of not wanting anything from anything. Stepping back into that original purity before you had any ideas about who you were and what you needed or wanted and such. So just internally repeat to yourself a few times, mentally, I don't want anything from anything. And notice how naturally present you become. Because it's all the little wants in the back of our minds, all the little needs, all the little ideas that scatter our focus and energy during the day. Mindfulness is actually our natural state when there's no desires for anything in particular. And there's no need to get rid of anything or accomplish anything. So just unwant anything from your experience. Be humble like that. 